Hey guys, thanks for checking out Michigan Machinist. So we have a pretty fun day planned today. Um, it's Saturday, we all actually have our kids in the shop today. So I've decided to distract them and get a fun little project going. So we've been looking at different toys and stuff online and we decided that we were gonna make some little spinny tops um, and let them help us set up, let them help us make them. So I'll show you right here kind of what we picked. So we've been looking at different tops today. Um, we decided on something kind of similar to maybe one of these, but Alex gonna program our own version of that. Yep. And I'm gonna go start hunting down stock um, to see what we have in terms of cutoffs from materials from other projects that we can recycle and make something cool with the kids out of it. I think I scored back here. So we have a ton of these aluminum pieces that are drops. I probably have 50 more, so this is what we're gonna set for our stock size. Um, problem we have with it right now is there's a drilled hole. We don't really want a drilled hole in our tops. So I'll set them up on the saw, cut the end off with the drilled hole, and that'll be our overall length. So it looks like I'll have to take about an inch of these off and our stock size will be about two inches long, excuse me, two and a half inches long by an inch and seven eighths in diameter. So I'll get these cut and then we'll start setting up the lathe to, uh, to hold them. So our stock size is gonna be two and a quarter. So I'm gonna set a stop for about two and three eighths and then I'll take them on the manual, face them to size. That way we don't have to do any work on them in the lathe in terms of getting them to size. Just makes it, it just makes it quite a bit quicker. So that's about where we want to be. You guys, this is kind of what we come up with for a design for our tops. I'll kind of show you if I kind of highlight this. I can actually create this model. Um, and there it is. So here's kind of what it would look like if it was made. I get rid of that. I can run these ops that I have created and it will show you basically what it's going to do. Ooh, that was a little fast on this going down here, guys. It's going to take that chunk, it's going to whittle it down, it's going to be on one side of the top, basically the handle that you would hold on to to spin, and then I can run the other two ops. We're going to flip the part around and hold it in the collet, so we will run that. Basically, we're going to hold on a collet over here, we're going to turn this side down. Same thing, it's kind of going to whittle it down a little bit. In the roughing process, going to leave some stock, and then we're going to take a different tool and we're just going to run one final finish pass. Looks like so. And there you have it. There's the finished product. Now let's go run around the machine, guys. So I don't really like to have the kids around when I'm running this machine. Um, manual lathe is really the most dangerous machine in the industry. So I'm gonna get these squared up to size, and then I'll switch out the chuck jaws and the CNC lathe um, to, to accommodate the stock. Once I get that done and the program's proved out, we'll get the kids in here and let them make their toys. What have you guys been doing? Oh, you found rocks in the park? Yeah, but the casket's on. Oh, oh my goodness. Dude, that's my Tupperware, man. Yeah, but well, well, we found all of them. What am I going to eat my lunch in now? So these guys got their own little rock tumbling yeah, station well, at home, yeah, so. We can we'll can definitely tumble these. Guys, I have a great idea. Hey! 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 Hey!
got our stock cut to size. Um, I got the jaws set. I got one in. I got it all zeroed out. Programs loaded. So we'll do a test cut for the first one on our own, and we'll get the kids involved. First stop. Now that we've proved it out, we'll get the kids over here, let them make theirs, then we'll flip the truck jaws around, put a collet in there, flip it over, finish the back side. Check that out. That's half a spin top. We're each gonna make your own and then we're gonna switch it around and we're gonna do the other half. surface and it'll be pretty concentric to the back side. To do so we need to swap these chuck jaws out for this collar. So I'm gonna get that put in, get it indicated. Thank you. 